Meghan Markle's staggeringly expensive gift she could give to daughter Lilibet. The royal family are the owners of some of the most priceless jewels in the world, whether that is St. Edward's crown or the sovereign orb and scepter. While this is the case, many other members of the firm also have their own collection of sentimental and eye-wateringly expensive gems. Many of these pieces will one day be inherited by younger members of the family, such as Princess Charlotte and Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Much like her cousin, Prince Harry and Meghan's daughter will likely be the owner of some of her mother's jewelry, as well as some pieces that previously belonged to her grandmother Diana, Princess of Wales. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born in 2021 and looks set to inherit some very impressive and recognizable jewels one day when she is older. According to jewelry experts at Stephen Stone, the amount that Lily could be left from her mother and grandmother's collections amounts to a staggering £410,000. Topping the list as something Meghan would almost certainly pass down to her daughter is her £150,000 Cartier bracelet that she previously wore on her wedding day to Prince Harry. The beautiful bracelet is made up of 104 brilliant cut diamonds and 52 baguette cut diamonds. Leading diamond expert, Maxwell Stone, commented. Worth £150,000, Meghan's stunning bracelet is composed of 18k white gold, set with 104 brilliant cut diamonds totaling 4.50 carats, and 52 baguette cut diamonds totaling 5.61 carats. Worn by Meghan on her wedding day, this would be a heartwarming piece for Lilibet to inherit that she could possibly pair with her own wedding dress in the future. Another of Meghan's jewels that could be Lilibet's one day is the Aspri Aquamarine ring that previously belonged to Diana, Princess of Wales. The ring has an estimated value between £75k-85k and was only worn by the late royal on two occasions. It was then given to Meghan by Harry to wear for their wedding reception. Lilibet could also stand to inherit her grandmother's £25,000 gold cuff bangle that Meghan was pictured wearing earlier this year at the NAACP Image Awards in California. Meghan is clearly fond of the expensive bracelet as she first wore it during her royal tour of Australia with Prince Harry in 2018. While other items that Lily could own one day also include Meghan's £10,000 wedding band. Her £3.5,000 Cartier stud earrings and Diana's Cartier tank for Anse's watch, it is possible that she may inherit her mother's £120,000 engagement ring. While Prince William proposed to Kate using Diana's iconic engagement ring in 2010, Meghan's ring features two stones from her late mother in law's collection. During their engagement interview, Harry explained, the ring is obviously yellow gold because that's Meghan's. Favorite and the main stone itself I sourced from Botswana and the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewelry collection, to make sure that she's with us on this crazy journey together. The Princess of Wales ring is a 12-carat oval sapphire surrounded by 14 round diamonds set in 18-carat white gold and is estimated to be worth around £390,000. The ring is a very sentimental piece with Prince William explaining why he chose to use his late mother's ring during his engagement interview in 2010. He said that it was a way of making sure my mother didn't miss out. He explained, I had been carrying it around with me in my rucksack for about three weeks before that and I literally would not let it go, everywhere I went I was keeping hold of it because I knew this thing if it disappeared I would be in a lot of trouble and because I'd planned it, it went fine. You hear a lot of horror stories about proposing and things going horribly wrong, it went really, really well and I was really pleased she said yes. Elsewhere in the famous interview, Kate spoke about the value of the ring and how it was very special. 